Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Kagoshima. This is Tenmonkan, and I'm about to go to one of my favorite vending machines that I always visit when I'm here in this city. That's right, the crepe vending machine is just straight ahead. That's the airport shuttle bus taking everybody to Kagoshima Airport. Some of them will be stopping off for a crepe, and then some people not going to the airport will be too. That's me, and you. It's right there on the left side. Oh my gosh. I saw this last night when we hit the sweet potato vending machine. You're not going to want to miss that one. But now we're going to get a crepe vending machine crepe. Check it out right here. Whoa. So this vending machine, it has this, the uh, glass jars are the size of Coca-Cola cans soda cans so they fit perfectly in there but inside the glass jar are crepes of different flavors that's rare cheese cake i think this is nama caramel this is chocolate cream this is pistachio cream this is italian something not sure what that is and then this is chocolate banana i can get down with that the prices are about 250 to 270 yen which is about two dollars $2.50 depending on the exchange rate. And I timed this perfectly with the airport shuttle bus. How you doing everybody? Um, vending machines in Japan are one of the coolest things and they're super convenient. And over the years they've gotten innovative, meaning they don't just hold drinks, they hold crepes. And the one down the street holds sweet potatoes that are hot. It's weird. Um, I've seen vending machines that give out eggs, you know, from the supermarket raw eggs, rice. I've seen vending machines that gave out bottles of dashi, ramen and gyoza now. So basically it's taken away people's jobs for humans, giving them into machines, vending machines. So I've got some money here, let's try it. Because John's gotta get to the Wagyu Olympics and it's an hour drive. All right, it's up to you guys. What do you, which one should I get here? Because I could eat any of these. That pistachio cream looks interesting. That was in here last time. Again, you, the recite, the jars go here. Aloha, everybody. What do you think here? Weird cheesecake, pistachio, chocolate banana, custard with banana, chocolate cream, caramel. Three, two, one. All right, pistachio. All right, let's do it. Wow. See what I'm saying? It comes in these chilled jars. And there's an expiration date on it as well. Look at this. Uh, October 15th. So, well, it's got a few days to go. It's the 10th today, so five days. I guess the colors to make sure that it's the right thing here. And uh, there it is, there's a crepe in there. All right, let's take the crepe out and then the bottle can get recycled here. Boom. So I could take you away from the airport shuttle a little bit. I can put this camera down. I'm actually gonna go film the sweet potato vending machine as well for a main channel episode on, you know, vending machines. Whenever you find a good one, you want to record it because you never know. Kagoshima is a cool city. Check out the streetcars going by. It's got like Hiroshima vibes because Hiroshima is very famous for the streetcars. A lot of the regional cities in Japan are. But we're here for this, so let's try it right now. This is pistachio cream cake. Wow. Pistachio is like the flavor of the day here in Japan. Every, every um, couple of years, let's see, let's see if I get the tripod here. Every couple of years or every year, there's like a, a, a flavor of the, of the, I wouldn't say month, the season maybe. It seems like the makers just had too much of something and they decided, well, we got a lot of pistachio. Let's put pistachio in every product. And then it becomes a trend where pistachio or what was another one? Tapioca was pretty big. I want to put this down here so you can try it. I'll be close to the street, but I'm not. All right, check it out here. Let's open her up. 
You need two hands. It's a two-hand job. Okay, the so this color tab. Oh my gosh, the pigeons are here. Dude, no, I'm not sharing. No. Hey. Mush, mush. Mush, mush, mush. Whoa, check that out. It's like a Twinkie. I'm gonna share with Toby. All right, just a little bit. So, tell us, how does it taste, sir? Who took it and walked away? Seems okay. Alright, itadakimasu. That's pistachio. Check it out here. I know, ungrateful pigeon. Hey! At least you could say something. Give me a little cooing. So there's the nastiness of my bite. It's got this, um, hey, oh, it's nasty. Your pigeon feathers all over the place. Dude, really? Get off, step off. But you ever see a Seinfeld episode? George, step off. I'm naming that pigeon George. Step off, George. Flying rats. All right, there's the, the um, pistachio cake, I guess. And then the cream, it's a good mix. It go better with some coffee. It go better with some coffee. I'm guessing that you're gonna, you all are make, gonna make me get more than one of these. So then I'll get a second one. Go for comparison. Yes, your smiling face is on YouTube as well. What? There's some sort of like, um. Is that blood? No, hold on. It's like strawberry. <clears throat> it's funny that my first reaction would be that it, it's blood. Um, all right, strawberry jam. So yeah, that's right. It's not blood. All right. Let's try one more. save this for later. This is not a flattering angle. Let's see here. Alright, I get another I get it I gotta go to the notes here. 1000 yen. Let's get another one. So what do you which one should I get? What does the internet say? Should I get the pistachio again? No. Nama cream? Chocolate. King Boba TV says chocolate. Brent Denny says custard. Oh, the battle's on. The battle is on. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be fun. Man, I'm still waking up right now. Um, since Brent Denny is paying for it. Thanks, Brent Denny. I'm gonna have to get custard. Oh, the chocolate would be good contrast. Nightshade Giggle says custard. Chocolate. Ranjit says chocolate dough. Oh my gosh, there's chocolate banana. But I'm not sure banana's gonna be fresh. And then there's an Italian one. Masicato pone. I don't, it's got cheese in it. I think I ate that last time, it was pretty nasty. All right, I'm gonna go with custard, but is there like, is there a chocolate custard? It would be pretty good. There's chocolate cream cake. All right, we're just gonna go with the custard and banana. I don't know, this is gonna go wrong here. Custard and banana. Chocolate cream. Yeah, you know, J JK Adventures says something, I gotta consider it. Chocolate cream or custard? No, banana. Actually, okay, Brandonia, you know what? 
custard and banana is in this, so I'm gonna get that one. Because chocolates get both. Jason, have you seen my waistline? Obviously not. Can I have it? She makes jokes, all right? It's not, it's not nice. It's jokes about me. Not, I think it's less about my waistline, more about me. All right, here we go. This is another crepe. This is a custard banana. Let's see if it's a real banana. Leave the jar here. Boom. King Boba TV, you lost. Brondania is the ultimate winner here. Thank you, Brondania. Boom. All right, let's try this because Johnny's got a date with the Wagyu cattle. Actually, yesterday I went to the auction and they showed the uh, the uh, the prices of the Wagyu. Can you believe that some Wagyu went for as high as a hundred thousand dollars or more for one carcass? There's over $100,000 of A5 Wagyu beef from Miyazaki. That was insane. So if you ever wondered if the price of, of the steak that you bought was, was worth it, yeah, it's gonna be pretty pricey. $100,000 for a 530 kilogram Wagyu carcass. Oh my gosh. You know what, beating stinking pigeons. Look, you know what? You flew all over, got pigeon feathers on me. Probably ate some of them. Alright, is that how you want to see? So, Brandania, ultimately winning has consequences if it's bad. But if it's good, winning is everything. But sometimes winning means, yeah, you know what? It's not, not my favorite. It's sort of like a Twinkie. Yeah, that banana, I think has seen better days like when it was fresh, but yeah. It's not bad, but I don't know. I think I need a shot of like whiskey to balance it out maybe. I'm driving. It is refrigerated. George, what did I tell you? Step off, George. Tony says step off. Right, I'm gonna put this to the side. It's not bad. I know it's gonna get mushed up in my pocket. So there you have it. And 10 more. <laughs> Rondania is. Hey, if you're smiling, Rondania, that makes my day. So uh, this is Tim Khan and uh, that is the crepe vending machine. And if you're in the area, I think you can, I, I don't think there's too many places where you can find this. The maker of it is is based here in Kagoshima. I've seen them in Miyazaki. I, I guess when you have a vending machine that's notorious like this one, you you put it in different areas to try to hit markets. Tim Khan is a super busy area. This is one of the main hubs of, of Kagoshima, so it probably gets a lot of traffic. As you can see, two two uh, crates of jars have been uh, filled by eaters but yeah this is Kagoshima's uh, Temonka and uh, one last time here the vending machine corner is famous because it has the crepe vending machine and you recycle that glass jar to the right side there it's a pretty sweet machine and every vending machine lover has to make a stop here because it's it's on the all the Hall of Fame vending machine there's the phone number. He's got a PHS number. Probably a, a second phone, like a like a dealer. So if you have problems, there's a phone number to call. I like that. But just call. But just call between 11 p.m. and 9 a.m. Oh, and there's another phone number down there. That's the company. That ice cream machine's also calling me. Uh, Temon Khan's a pretty cool area. Uh, I'm gonna go. Oh, gosh, I don't even think I have some time. I have time. I was gonna go get one of the sweet potatoes to kind of uh, get rid of the taste of the crepes in my mouth, but I don't know if I got time.
have to go to another area. Hey, George and friends, I'm surprised you have any. pocket and it's not these are gonna get all mushed up oh it's nasty i think of all the convenience store coffee lawson's is the worst not a big fan of lawson's morning coffee the best coffee probably 7-eleven and then family mart I haven't had, yeah, you know what? And Seiko Mart was not good either. They gotta improve on their coffee, but morning coffee, for many people, it's a routine. Um, 7-Eleven has added um, like, like premium coffee now. They have their normal coffee, which is very good. And then they have the Colombian Supremo. It comes in a, in a navy blue cup, which looks really premium looking. So maybe you're paying for the cup, but I've only noticed just a slight increase in bitterness in that Colombian. I, I don't know. To me, I just, I just, both of them are good and I just like the uh, morning bitter rush to balance out that sweet. I probably should have gotten a coffee before I jumped into the vending machine episode. This area is really neat. Um, it's at night, loaded with a lot of restaurants. I ate at a ramen place behind behind there on the on this side. They had Kagoshima ramen. It was more of a, um, a I don't know. It was like a white pork thing, and they put in these like deep fried like deep fried chicken bits or something. I don't know what it was, but it was extremely delicious. I was tasting it all night. I brushed my teeth three times to try to stop tasting it because you wanted to put a stop on that. I'm taking it over to the to the uh, sweet potato vending machine. If you want to see me eat that, check out last night's live stream as I went through this street in the evening. It's kind of interesting look at how these regional cities in Japan, they're pretty cool at night. A lot of drinking. <laughs> Often drunk people. Mostly harmless. Alright, and then I have a one hour and fifteen. Look at the trash truck coming through here. Wow! That's pretty awesome. Except that oh. Oh, it's not that awesome. I guess it's doing its job. Where did it go? Anybody remember where that machine was? Maybe it was, it was just something that I dreamt about. It wasn't real. Where the crepe vending machine? Or the uh, sweet potato vending machine? Oh, there it is. Or is it? Is that it? Is it all a dream? That's happened to me a lot. It was like, it was all a dream. Whoosh. No, it's here. My God. So this is the um, sweet potato vending machine. In all its glory. I like the cat. <laughs> and the sweet potato guy. How you doing? Hi, 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 hi. Can you hear with the beats? Hi, 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 hi. How you doing? Hi, 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 hi. And uh, yeah, they have them in hot and cold. Of course you get the hot. I just love, again, to reiterate yesterday's live stream, the paper that it was, it, it's, it's part of the plastic wrapping. I guess it's just microwaved inside there, but I like the fact that you can eat it right away. So there you go. Um, you gotta try this one too. The cans that it comes in are pretty cool. Conducive to the heat. Alright, the smell is, you know, I was hoping it would smell more appetizing, but it's hard when the trash truck is... Morning. Little, little Randy.
What are you gonna do? Bernie is over there. <laughs> All right, everybody, I gotta get going. I, I don't even think I have time to film the sweet potato. I might, I might get one for the road. I'm gonna, we're gonna end this live stream with a shot at Bernie. Don't forget to hit the like button. And if you want to, in the last 30 seconds here, you can write in, where are you from? Looking at the live chat is always a lot of fun. What part of the world? If you're shy on chatting, get on your keyboard and write where you're from. That's a pretty easy one. Oh, the Shirokuma is closed. Santa Monica, Texas. Whoa, Puerto Rico. BC, Canada. Toronto, Guam. Florida, man. Illinois, Norway, Seattle, Hawaii. And that's Bert and Ernie in one after, this is what Ernie looks like after he's had a couple of these. All right. <laughs> Only in Kagoshima, it's worth it just for this. You can touch it here. If you come here, touch his nose. That's what I did here, right in the center. You can rub it, just touch it right there. All right, boom touch it, you, you touch lives. You know, wash your finger. Vermont, Philippines, Georgia for the potato. Brondania, really thank you. Mahalo. All right, there you go. I'm gonna get back into the car and start to drive because there's some VIPs coming to the Wagyu Olympics and they have security checks. So to get in by 8.30 is highly encouraged. So there you have it. The morning is just starting here in Kagoshima, and we're one of the first ones with the garbage man and that guy. Have a good day, everybody. See you on the other side. I'm, I'm going to Miyazaki tonight, so I'm sure to do another live stream on the other side, but who knows what adventures await. I could just go live and bring you from a different area of this amazing part of Japan, Kyushu. See ya. This <laughs> is you get the trash cart. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Keep up the good work. Bye, Bernie. Bye, George. Bye, Ginger Romas. <laughs>